Nigeria scatter in the early half to the moment Inubu was exposed as EFCC finally dragged the leg of Yaya Bello in a live video in the early half to the and this video showcased few hours ago as Yaya Bello is finally going to jail. The secret video of everything that actually happened have finally been leaked out so I would like guys to stay connected to the end of this video. There is no hideout for Yaya Bello again. If you can share this video ensure you share it. Share it to different social media platforms. Let it go viral and if you can share it just like it as you are watching it. Like it give it a thumb up so that it will be recommended for us. The end I've come to a year below. Just stay connected. I'm coming back again. Welcome you back to Lajibong Wash TV. I don't have bad news for you today. The world of religious gossip. And the boys will leave the kind of Mohammed. What is happening in the Christian door? Join now to make sense with Lajibong. La 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 Hello my great and wonderful viewers, welcome back to Lachopo Wash TV. For those of you coming across this channel for the very first time, ensure you click the rest association button and payment in your video screen. And do well to click the notification bell icon so that when I will drop a new video in few hours time, YouTube will easily let you to know. The year below is finally in serious trouble as Tinubu is exposed in the early afternoon. But first of all, I'm going to play you a video now, a very short video, it's not up to one minute. You first of all look at what happened in that very video. Then I will come back to show you the next video. I'm showing you three videos in this very video. The Yabilu is already going to jail. After what happened in the early afternoon, just stay connected to the end of this video. If you can share this video, ensure you share it. Share to different social media platforms. Let it go viral. And if you can share it, just like it. Like it, give it a thumb up. So that will be recommended for us. Just stay connected. I'm coming back. <laughs> Thank you for staying connected my great and wonderful viewers this is not the main video that i actually want to show you in this video but you will still see the video because i promised to show you the video of what happened in the early afternoon you know this lady was lamenting and she was complaining she was making the protest alone when people couldn't come out in kogi state to make a collective protest this lady moved out to government house she stood in front of government house and was crying and was calling yaya Bilu a thief that was the name of yaya Bilu that she was mentioning in that very place that was when yabilo was still in power as governor in kogi state yabilo failed to pay them seven years salary you can hear it very well seven years salary and the people never know that he had been looting a lot of money from kogi state treasury and he had been using it for his own personal stuff he had been involved in a lot of money laundering he had been stealing kogi state money to american secondary schools and all of that to pay his children's school fees and all of that he had been using kogi state money unnecessarily and he had been stealing a lot of money from kogi state now ESC came to arrest yabilo some people pulled themselves out and they came out to put their support for Yabilo in Yabilo's house few days ago and that is to tell you that with the hardship that is ongoing in Kogi State because Kogi State is one of the poorest states in Nigeria with the hardship and the level of suffering that Yabilo bestowed on them for them to still come out to still put their support for Yabilo that's obviously telling you that they actually pay them for those things that they do and if you see those people that were protesting for Yabilo that the ESC should leave Yabilo alone and all of that you will notice that many of them cannot even change clothes they find it difficult to wear a very good cloth on their neck these people are suffering and you will see those people that brought out juju to swear for escc and all of that in favor of yaya Bello in kogi state amidst the yaya Bello arrest you notice that those people that brought out their family juju 
to swear for your yabilo prosecutors and all of that you will notice that they find it difficult to eat well and they find it difficult to wear a very good cloth these people are suffering but they just pay them token i just like the politicians usually pay nigerians in the election time they pay them token to just come out to do what they are doing now these are the real citizens of kogi state you can see the way the lady is lamenting kogi state is very poor and wretched in nigeria it's one of the poorest states in the southern area of nigeria so i like guys to stay connected to the end of this video now if you can share this video share it i want to show you what transpired in the early of today Tinubu is finally exposed. What Tinubu did alongside with Yayabilu, you will see everything in this video. And after that, you will see the video of how Yayabilu have been dragged out by the EFCC. Just stay connected. I'm coming back again. <laughs> Events leading to the 2022 APC convention to elect a presidential candidate. 13 out of the 14 northern APC governors agreed that the parties presidential candidate be zoned to the south. Uh, as you can see, it's not only aspirant. Uh, the governor of Jigawa State is also an aspirant and he's here with us. And uh, we met. But the governor of Kogi State chose to excuse himself. Governor Yayabelo of Kogi State was the only northern APC governor who went against that agreement. 13 of us are on one page on this subject and we all came to see the president but the, the governor of Kogi State excused himself. He threatened to destroy the party and said he will go to the press. And to carry out that threat, he said this. Contested. I bought the form. I was clear to participate in the election and no reason for me to be excluded from the ballot if they do so then that is a recipe for a bigger trouble for the party however i don't think it's a decision of the party it is a decision of few elites who may decide to use their whatever position to suppress the so-called minority but I want to prove that in this country, I am not in the minority. The convention where a two-term commissioner, a two-term governor, a minister, and a former speaker of the House of Representatives withdrew for President Bola Hamad Tinubu. Today, I want to thank the progressive governors of Northern Nigeria. My dear colleagues, having been a governor for eight years, for their decision to ensure peace, stability, and unity of the country that in 2023 the presidency of this country to go to the southern region of nigeria that as i withdraw now vote for Ashwaju ahmed Tunibu. i have i withdraw for Ashwaju bola amen a field governor who only won election through the bullets and not the ballot and despite all the efforts of the Northern Progressive Governors to support a Southern candidate, Yaya Bello said, We didn't come this far to chicken out. We are here to win. Governor Yaya Bello said severally that Bola Hamad Tinubu was too old and weak to be the president. And he mocked the then presidential candidate, Bola Hamad Tinubu. The 93 delegates of Akwaibom, the hundreds of delegates across Nigeria, the 1,200 delegates that were ready to put me in office, I urge you, I, ple I plead with you to unite our party, unite our party, let APG run, and bring in this man to take over our current president, and we will support him. I will be there supporting him. I urge you, vote for Ahmed. Bola Tinibo as your next president. Thank you and God bless Nigeria. Today, Governor Yayabelo, in his desperate bid to impose his cousin as his successor, is using the name of the president to suppress the indigent of Kogi State. The governor convoy is not immune. It is the person that is occupying the office of the governor that has it. Yes, yes, yes. Under Jonathan, Amnesty Convoy was stopped. 
It is a government that makes it a has immunity, not the convoy. Or no obstructing the law, just as you stated in your law. Obstructions of your every criminal prosecution or investigation amount to jail terms. The judges that are giving these problem judges orders are not immune. The current governor was an auditor general when all these crimes were committed. I ask you to commence his own investigation now. Yes, right. Just as Governor Nainako said, we are aware that some of former governors, former the House of I mean, Chairman of the local government, they withdraw this money, they stockpile it in the Ghana Moscow, they return it to Kogi State Government House. Invite those local government chairmen, they are, they are, they are, they are willing they are to bear you witnesses as an exit. The Congress are with you. Ordinary citizens of the of Nigeria are with you. And we are here to encourage. We are here to motivate you. Nobody gave us one naira. Yes, this chairman, we don't know you people. The PA, we don't know you. We are just seeing you. We are not being hired. You can see we are not plenty because we don't have money to give. We are at the forefront of this agitation. So many of us have gone to prison. So many of us have already lost some of us lost their life. Some are still facing some serious cases. So many people. So now the time for justice is now. Thanks and God bless. My name is Wilson Ujare. I'm acting director of public affairs here at the I want to thank you all for coming to identify with the work of the FCC. I'm, for instance, personally very, very happy that I, I can see citizens of the state that are concerned about the misuse of their state resources. I want to assure you, I have the, the permission of the chairman to assure you that this matter will not be swept under the carpet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The issue that we have with Yaya Bello is not a personal matter. The FCC is just asked to enforce the law. We have a charge that is pending before the Federal uh, City High Court, Abuja. All we will simply want the ability to do is to answer to those charges. We are not concerned about renting cars or getting people to speak in our paper. No. All we want is for him, wherever he's hiding, let him come and attend, attend to the charges that have been filed against him. It's all a personal issue. The Commission has had cause to arrange several former ex governors. Some of them are working through that because they have already been arranged, properly arranged, and granted pay. That is what we want the Ayabelo to do because there's nobody, no body in Nigeria that is above the law. Yes. Yaya Bello, as a former governor, does not have immunity against prosecution. And he knows that. So wherever he's hiding, the message I have for him this morning is to simply come out and be properly arranged before he comes to competent judicial and then answer to the allegations that we have preferred against him. That is just a simple matter. All other shenanigans that we are seeing is just a distraction as far as the FCC is concerned. We will not rest until he is arranged in court. Thank you for staying connected my great and wonderful viewers you can see what really happened in this very video you can see the first video that i just finished watching that was when they were doing presidential election campaign and that was when apc were doing their primary election a lot of people stepped down for tinobu in the lights of apabio in the lights of a good number of them stepped down for bola Ahmed tinobu because they said the agreement was that they need to zone the power to the south since Buhari is from the north the power need to come back to the south and they need a certain president so those people that came from the northern part they stepped down for Bola and Mentinobu in the primary and they award their delegates to Bola and Mentinobu but Yaya Bello insists he said no he will never allow that to happen that he wants to be the president of nigeria and all of that so that issue came up in apc then there was that fight in apc and they have already marked the eyes of yaya below right from that place because they see that as a very young governor is already doing too much and that is not the reason why the ESSCI is actually trying to arrest him according to what the ESC chairman said he said they are arresting yaya below is not based on what happened or it's not based on any political stuff that like the person that stole money is who they want to arrest they are only consigned with the money that they are below stole they are not to consign them with any political issue that is having or all of that and there's no political elite that is using them to suffer they are below but the fact remains that yes is actually bring out a lot of evidences that they are below actually stole the money so now they said they are below should come out so that he can come and defend himself maybe if he's arrayed and all of that 
we can later be him according to what this man said in this other video that i just finished watching that there are a lot of ex governors in the street that are moving freely in the street of nigeria many of them have been persecuted and they have been arrayed and many of them have been built and a lot of the money they stole have been released so what they want you to, to do according to what the SSC people and the lot of agitators are saying is the ability should come out to refund the money that is stole and maybe they can grant him a bill that's the work of the judiciary in any way so that is what they want you able to do but they are below keeping people to come out to defend him and all of that you can see the true citizens of Kogi state they actually put themselves out in this very video to protest for their right because they themselves they know in Kogi state that those people that actually stop ESCC that storm your Yabilo house and said the SSC must not arrest your Yabilo. They themselves know that those people are paid. Those people are also part of Kogi state citizens and all of that. But they are actually paid. If you look at a lot of them, looking at them very well, you notice that they find difficult to change clothes. Many of them, their clothes is already tattered and all of that. And you can see the light of the people that actually came out to, to bring their family to do out to protect their ability so that they will not be prosecuted and all of that. You notice that they look like hungry people. That's what is happening. The politicians actually pay these people to do what they are doing. And the EFCC called it a mere distraction. And they said this can never distract them anyway. But it's just the noise of the market that they are focused on who they have a business with, which is Yaya Bilo, that they will never stop until Yaya Bilo is prosecuted. And the ESC chairman also said this. He said if Yaya Bilo is not prosecuted, he will resign as the ESC chairman. These people actually stole a lot of money. It's not only limited to Yaya Bilo. A lot of Nigerian politicians actually loot a lot of money from Nigeria Treasury. And every of these people need to be printed to book. So that is what is happening in that very video. Now, I have a question for everyone watching this video. How is fair price in your place? Are we enjoying the Tinobu regime? More especially those people that actually voted for Tinobu in this very channel and all of that. Hope you are enjoying the fair scarcity and we are enjoying the high in price of fair in different states in Nigeria. How much they are sending fair in or your state is different for how much they are sending it in Taraba. How much they are sending it in Kogi is different for how much they are sending it in Edo. You can see what is happening. Legal state price is different from Abuja price and the forest scarcity is out there. Which way Nigeria? Let's focus on the real issues. Thank you for staying connected to the end of this video. Just drop your opinion in the comment section of this video. As I'm going out there to get another 200 for you, ensure you follow me on all my social media handles on Facebook at Lajopog Watch TV and Lajopog Entertainment and on Instagram at Lajopog. Guess what, guys? See you in my next video. Bye. Religious gossip that today for body day for you. Pastor where the line on top be pastor for large pub watch TV. Pastor where the bar where where. Politician where the two pass me self. Leader where the why you where the for church. All large pub watch TV.